Okay, welcome to today's video. So in the last video we saw what the conjugate root theorem was and we saw a proof of the conjugate root theorem. And now we're going to see an example of how to apply it to a question. So the question says, solve 2 times z cubed minus 5z squared minus 2z plus 15 equals 0 given that 2 plus i is a solution. Okay, so the first step would be let p of z equal to that polynomial up here that we're trying to solve equal to zero. Now, in the question, we are given that p of 2 plus i is equal to zero. Since it's a, because since it's a solution, p of 2 plus i is equal to zero. Now, we note that all these coefficients here are real numbers. So, since p of z has real coefficients, the fact that p of 2 plus i is equal to 0 automatically implies that p of 2 minus i is equal to 0. And remember, this is only for real coefficients. Okay, now, we look at p of z, and we see that it's a degree of 3. So, the notation is degree of p of z is equal to 3. So, from this, we can expect to have three solutions. Now the reason for this is something called the fundamental theorem of algebra. Uh, the proof of that is quite difficult and beyond the scope of the course, but all it says is that any polynomial of degree n has at least n, well not at least, it has exactly n solutions in the complex field. So here we have a degree 3, and so we have we expect to have three solutions. Okay. Now, if you remember back to your three unit maths polynomials, you know that the sum of roots, which we do not like that, so this here in this case is alpha plus beta plus gamma, that's equal to minus b over a. Right? Now, but what's minus b on a? In our case, b is minus 5. So we have minus, minus 5, divided by a, which is 2. Okay. But this is the sum of the roots. So we already know that 2 plus i is a root, and 2 minus i is a root. But now we're just left with 1 remaining root and let that let's just call that gamma okay now we can simplify this and we'll get 4 these two i's will cancel so 4 plus gamma equals 5 on 2 and then gamma well that's equal to 5 on 2 minus 4 which equals 5 on 2 minus 4 will be minus 3 halves and so that's your last remaining root of this equation. So we can just write here, therefore, these solutions of P of Z equal to zero are Z equals two plus I, two minus I, and negative three halves. Okay, thank you.